Hello friends. In the last lecture, we have learned about the stationarity. In this lecture, we are going to learn how to test the stationarity in the time series data. So, first of all, let's see the various steps. So, the step one will be you have to import your data. Second step will be attach the file. And the package required by which we are going to test the stationarity in the time series is T-series package. Once you have installed the package with the name T-series, you have to either library or you have to require that package. And then you have to apply the commands for testing the stationarity in the time series data. So let's start. So I have already imported the data file. And I have taken the company century textile and the data has been collected in the time series and the daily closing price of the century textile has been taken. So let me attach the file. So first of all you have to attach. So I have now attached the file. Now either you can word, you can use the word library and then the package or you can use the word require so let me use the word require and then i have to write the package package name is t series now as i already told you in each each and every video that first of all if you have to uh, apply any tools so first of all just make the graph of your data so let me plot the graph so I'll be using the command plot.ts and I'll be writing my variable name. Now you can see this is the data and the variable name is century text. So I'll be writing century text trial. Now see over here you can see the graph over here and in the previous video as I have discussed about the stationarity. We have discussed that in time series we normally check the weak stationarity. That means we have to check that we should have a constant mean at different time interval. But now if we are going to see this graph, in this graph we are not seeing the constant mean. Let's say I check the constant, let's say my constant mean is over here at the 200 and if I draw a straight line, you won't see that all the data is falling on this line. So that means by seeing just a figure, I can predict that my data is not stationary. So let's prove it with the help of some statistical tools. So there are various statistical tools by which we can check whether our data is stationary, uh, stationary or not. Because as I have already discussed in the previous videos that if your data is not stationary, your forecast will not be correct. That means in doing any analysis of the time series data, the first step that you have to check is that your data should be stationary. And if it is not stationary, you have to convert that data into stationary before applying any other tool. So by seeing the plot, we have just verified that my data is not stationary. So let's prove it with the help of some statistical tools. There are various statistical tools by which I can prove that whether my data is stationary or not. One of the tool is by testing by augmented Dickey Fuller test, which is commonly known as ADF test. Second is Philip Perrin test, which is commonly known as PP test. And third is KPSS test. Uh, irrespective of these three, uh, three tools, there are various other tools also, but I'll be discussing about these three tools. In this video, I'll be discussing about ADF test only. In the next video, I'll be discussing about Philip Perrin and your KPSS test. So let's put the command. So the command for ADF test is ADF dot test. And then you have to write your variable name. Variable name is century textile, century text. Now see, this is my data. Now, if I see my p value, uh, this uh, uh, Dickey Fuller represents your t value, then your lag order, and then your p value. Now, in this, if I see my p value, p value is more than 5% level of significance, which means that 
we accept our null hypothesis and whenever we are seeing a null hypothesis a null hypothesis says that the data has a unit root or data is not stationary hence by the help of augmented dicuffler test we have proved that my data is not stationary because the p value is more than 5% level of significance over here my p value is showing 26% but we normally take 5% level of significance so if the data is stationary this p value should be less than 0.05 so there is a unit root which is present in my data so before applying the forecasting tools or any other tools i have to remove the non stationarity from my data that's all for this lecture in the next lecture we are going to discuss how to remove this non stationarity from the data thank you